Hi, we're here at Crimson Trace with the smiling face of Ian Harrison. You might recognize him from winning the first Top Shot on TV. Ian and I have a little bit of history. We were able to hunt some pigs down in Texas where I remember there was a graphic headshot offhand at 200 <laughs> yards with a 50 BMG that was pretty impressive. We're here to <laughs> speak about some new products from Crimson Trace. Ian, uh, what's the most exciting stuff that you're seeing this year? Uh, we've got some real fun stuff coming up, Steve. Uh, this is launching today. This is our first universal fit rail mounted laser. And it, you can see here it fits on a Taurus. It'll fit on pretty much anything with a Picatinny rail. I see. It doesn't have to be a mil-spec rail at all. And it comes with four little inserts, so you can adjust the position of the laser on the rail so it optimizes the activation for your finger. And it looks pretty small enough to fit on most compact guns as well. Yes, it does. You only need about three quarters of an inch of rail space Excellent. in order to mount it. Excellent. Cool. What's that called? This is the Railmaster from Crimson Trace. Railmaster from yep. Crimson Trace. And it launches okay. this afternoon. Excellent, excellent. We're one of the first ones to have it on film. Indeed. The other cool product we've got coming up is uh, the Light Guard for the 1911. You may recall we launched this last year. Uh, this is the Light Guard for the polymer guns, such as the Glock, Smith & Wesson XD. Uh, we've since adapted that design over to America's favorite handgun. And this is the first time you're able to run a white tactical light on a rail 1911. No gunsmithing required, just clamps around the trigger guard, gives you 100 lumens, a white light, and a two hour run time on one battery. Very innovative, nice, nice to see that, very Thanks. good. Thanks, we're expecting big things from this. I figure that uh, there's a lot of 1911s out there. Now this will fit on a round trigger guard? Yes. Not yeah. a square? It'll fit on, exactly. I imagine you will come out with a square trigger guard before too long. Yeah, if, if we can find the market demand there. Okay. Uh, but right now this will fit uh, Kimbers, it'll fit Colts, it'll fit Smith & Good, nice place in the market for that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. If you want to step over that side, we've got a sure. couple of other uh, cool products I want to show you. Now you're probably aware that Kimber launched the CDP at the SHOT Show. It's one of the big hit guns. And this actually, well, it's, it's a development and a refinement of the Colt Mustang design. But it's really, really cute little single action 380 pocket gun. And we've been working with Kimber ever since they started designing this gun in order to provide laser grips for it. Because, uh, you know, with a short sight radius, you really need them. Uh, standard 1911 style controls, yep. the activation button is automatic and intuitive. All you have to do is grip your gun and the laser comes on. Uh, there's really nothing that you have to worry about to use this laser. It's, uh, it's intuitive and automatic. Yep, pretty much a point and click interface. Yep. Another prototype that we've got coming on later in the year, and you guys are going to be the first ones to see it, uh, is this. Laser grip, uh, laser grip for the uh, XD and XDM. Uh, developing these for the XDM has always been a problem because of the grip safety. Yes. So what we did here was use the uh, the backstrap insert from the XD as the platform to build from. So that just in, uh, clips into the the backstrap of the gun, and you can see there it's an asymmetric design. So it runs up the right side of the frame, leaves the left side of the gun completely clear, and just provides a little palm swell in there to make it fit your hand a little bit better. And it fits on all of the provided backstraps. Uh, yep. Um, it actually Fits on all three sizes? No, no, no. Uh, what it does is we actually take the original backstrap out and we supply the, the new one. I for understand. It. Yes, and I see. Uh, I see. Oh, filter. nice idea. Finally. Thank okay, you. good idea. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to be running one on my five and a quarter this year. Okay. Those are really all the new products that we have for, okay. for SHOT Show. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming out later in the year that we can't reveal just yet. But uh, 2012 is a really, really stacked product deck for us. Very exciting. What's nice about Crimson Trace products is, again, it's so intuitive. If you, God forbid, have to use this in a bad situation, you don't have time and you don't want to worry about how to work the gun. Right. Uh, this is uh, very handy. The hit percentage goes up drastically when a, you're, you're painting the red uh, light on your target. Uh, very intuitive, very easy to use product. And whether exactly. you're right hand, uh, or left hand, uh, no matter your shooting style or whatever your grip, the light is automatic and you don't yep. have anything to worry about. Yeah, exactly. You're not adding anything to the additional to the controls of the gun. All you're doing is picking the gun up in a natural firing grip. And you don't actually have the sight, you have to acquire the sight. So you've got to be target focused anyway in a high stress environment. You're going to be looking at the threat. So, uh, you know, all you're doing is painting that target up with a red dot, looking at the threat and squeezing the trigger. And these are so respected in the industry, even top quality manufacturers like Galco have a line specifically to fit certain Crimson Trace 
mounted pistols. Exactly, especially with the light guards, because that changes the profile of the gun a little without expanding the width of the gun. Uh, we do have to come up with a new holsters for that, but Galco, DeSantis, Crossbreed, um, uh, who else, IHL, and we're working with Safari Land as well to bring those to market. Uh, Excellent. Give you a Excellent. Option. Nice to see you again. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Always a pleasure. Likewise.